In this video, we'll be teaching you some fade lineups on every map so that you can play fade like a pro in your ranked games. What is going on, Pro Guides family? It's your host, Sergeant Frost, and today we'll be bringing you the most important haunt lineups on every map. Fade is a really cool agent, but in order to really get things done, you're going to need a couple of strong lineups. In this video, we'll have all the ones you need, so make sure to like and subscribe and watch till the end. And of course, if you want to master the fundamentals or get individualized advice on any specific agents, make sure to visit us at ProGuides.com, where our Radiant and Immortal level coaches are always ready to help you reach the next level. The link is in the description, and let's jump right into it. Let's start out with Haven. Haven is a map where Fade can make great use of most of her utility. There's close quarters, nice elevation for lineups, and the sites are very ultable. So if you want to cement yourself as a great Haven Fade player, here's a couple things you should know. If you want to take A site, go over here and long. Aim at the top of this rock here or use the arrow of the UI to aim at the corner and run and jump throw. This lineup will see almost all of sight, and it's also incredibly annoying to shoot. A great one to have if you want to execute onto A with your team. If you lose A and have to retake, however, you can use this one instead. Get stuck on top of the small box here, aim at the left of this wood pole, and simply throw. This will make sure the eye goes here and catches most of sight, while also making it impossible for anyone sitting in short to wait for it to land and pre-aim. That way, it's annoying to shoot in the post plan. If you're on defense once again and you want to get some early info, consider throwing this. Just aim here, run and jump throw, and ta-da! You'll instantly know if your opponents are waiting outside of A lobby. If you're taking B and you don't want to have to deal with any of the hard to clear close corners, throw this one. Just stand at the corner of mid wall, aim as shown, and you won't have to wonder whether you should clear left, right, or neither. A great one to throw if you want to have an easier time taking B. 4C, get into the cubby of long, back corner, and look for where those two tiles meet. Aim there and let it fly. It'll land on top of this box perfectly, and you'll instantly have most of sight cleared. Then, of course, to retake, you can throw this one instead. Stand next to this wall, aim as shown, and just normally throw. This lineup will make it so that it lands up here, and is able to see most of bomb sight. Super handy when retaking. Now, before I move on to bind, let's first look at our question of the day. Today's question being, what do you think about Chamber's nerfs? Personally, I don't think the trips were what made him really strong, and this just makes Chamber feel like less of a sentinel. I would have rather them done something about the teleport than remove a trip. But let me know what you think in the comments section and let's continue. Okay, okay, time for bind. So on bind, in order to have success, these lineups are certainly most important. Firstly, this one for attacking A. Get into this cubby here right outside of shore and aim in between these two leaves as shown. Simply jump throw and your eye will fly here. It'll be able to see most common positions, a true must if you want to push through short. If you'd be defending, however, then you probably want to use this lineup on A to get some early info and to know whether A is clear. Get into the corner here, aim at the top of these two wires, and then run and jump throw. If you throw it correctly, it'll land inside of this tree here, and it'll spot anyone that might be positioned towards short. If you lose sight and need to retake, no worries. Just get into the corner here, aim at the top of the circle here, and jump throw. This lineup will see most of the common spots, and you can even spam anyone sitting behind this box. A really great lineup to have, as it'll make retaking a lot easier. When taking B from long, what you can use instead, however, is this. Get into the corner here, aim in between these two decorations, jump throw, and you'll have most of sight, and even elbow instantly cleared out. A really good one to know. If you're not on long though, and instead are making your way from hookah, you can use this lineup which in my opinion is even better. Stand in the corner here, aim here where the gray and white cross, and go up till the wire. Then run and throw. This one will probably require a bit of practice first, but once you get it down, it's not really difficult at all, and it really helps with taking the sight. Just be careful cause enemies can still use the teleporters. If you're playing B and just want some early info however, consider throwing this. Make your way here, then aim as shown and simply jump throw, as it'll spot anyone standing on long. And if you have to retake, well, line yourself up with this cross on the floor, aim at this smudge, no wait, this smudge, and then jump throw. Of course, this one also requires you to try it once or twice first, since it's a bit harder to remember, but once you get it down, it's really easy to throw. Now for Fracture. If you're in drop and you want to take A, get in the corner here. Aim for where the color changes on this tower and then normally throw. And as you can see, it'll be able to see most of the site, basically anywhere but below it. Now, this is probably the best way to approach it, but if you're on the other side over in main, I'd personally recommend just tossing your eye here, so that way it's hard to shoot and you 100% know whether under is clear or not. That way you can really focus on the angles that matter and it'll make life a lot easier for your entries. When retaking A, you can get the eye in a similar position as the drop one, but by simply going over here, looking up for the arrow on the roof and run jump throwing. That way you'll have cleared a lot of common positions like drop, top sight, anyone playing close spawn, and even close main. Just a good lineup to have in general. Over on B, you can use this lineup to have a much easier time attacking. 
Stand next to the wall here, aim at the gap, and jump throw. It clears all of the actual site itself, but it also sees anyone right of main and even a good part of heaven. Defending B, you can also toss an eye over main. If you do it like shown by lining yourself up with this satellite and run plus jump throwing, you can get loads of info about anyone standing around B, and it even sees a bit into their spawn. If you just want to see close main but don't want to risk the eye getting shot, it's good to know that you can even toss an eye on the tree here, just run and jump throw. It's not hard to throw at all. If you want a spot on the other side of B however, you can go here, line yourself up like this, and just jump throw in order to spot anyone that might be positioned anywhere around Arcade. Another really strong info eye. And of course, when you need to retake B, just get into the corner here, look for the line on this vent and go up with your crosshair and just throw normally. Since as long as you practice it first, you'll be able to see all of sight and even have to look into A main, making retaking a lot easier. Over on split, to have an easier time taking A, just stand on the first step of the stairs, look for this corner here, and jump throw. That way you won't have to clear any of the close corners and you'll even have a good look into the actual site itself. Alternatively, if you want to switch things up, you can try this run and jump throw from pretty much the same spot, but it is a bit more difficult so make sure to practice it first. Once it lands, it will see more of the actual site, although it is a bit easier to shoot. To get some early info when defending A, get into the wall of heaven here. Look for the top of this tree and just run plus jump throw, now you'll instantly know if anyone is headed A. And if they're not, well you can immediately go mid through vents. And by the way, speaking of mid, if you're playing there and you want to know what's up, I like to toss an eye at this wall here and press E again as soon as it bounces. That way you'll be able to see all of mid and if you want, you can even peek off of it. Pretty good trick to know in my opinion. Another eye you can swing with is this one on attack. When taking heaven, just bounce it off the wall here, and you should have a pretty heavy advantage or at least map control. When attacking B through main, however, there's not a lot of high ground lineups to benefit from. So we recommend just tossing your eye on top of this box like here. This gets most of sight and also sees the heaven rafters. If you want to be a bit more fancy, you can also toss an eye here. But remember, the eyes have limited range, so throwing it that far out of the map is not really recommended. Or well, at least not every round. If you're on defense and want some info, you can look for this hole in between the two signs and run plus jump throw. That way the eye will land outside of B lobby and you'll have a good idea of where your enemies are going. And lastly, if you're going for a retake on B, you should know that you can easily toss an eye up here by run throwing it from heaven. It basically sees everywhere, except for anyone potentially playing inside of main, which makes it very strong for a retake. Then we have Breeze, which is a very large map, and that makes Fade feel a bit weaker. So if you want to get good value, you're going to really need to use these lineups. The first one is on A, and although it's a bit difficult to throw, it does cover all of backside, and it is also very hard to shoot. You can throw it by aiming between these two boxes and then jump throwing. Definitely practice it first, and then you'll have a much easier time taking A. If you're on the other side and you're defending A, a good eye you can throw is this one. You can kind of just do it on the fly, as it is easy to land, but if you want a lineup, you can line yourself up with the side of the pyramid and aim at this leaf and they can be used to counter an enemy viper wall or even just retake. When taking B, you should be looking to throw a basic eye like this. It'll cover everything on the right side of main, and it can even see a lot of sight and back sight. Long story short, it's a really strong eye since it allows you to run up and hard clear left, while fully ignoring the right. On the B retake, there's actually a really strong lineup. Align with the sun and the top of the sight tower like here, and then simply run plus jump throw to make it land on top. That way, it'll be able to see on all sites and it clears a bunch of corners while also being very hard to shoot. A really cool eye that you should definitely try out. On Icebox, the best eye you can throw while taking A is honestly just a simple one, on top of the generator like here. It's plain, but it's also really good, easy to throw, and it's super consistent. So it's the one we'll recommend for sure. If you're playing A and are looking for info, what you can do is throw an eye like this, go to the box, and aim at the small dot here. That way, you can easily figure out if people have made their way up to A and then react accordingly. If you have to retake A, one lineup you can use is this one. It sees a lot of sight and it's very hard to shoot. Just line yourself up with the wall like shown, aim here and let it fly. If you want a more basic one however that covers more but is easier to shoot, you can also just toss this one on top of the generator, just like you would when attacking. It's not super cool but it does get the job done. When attacking B, an easy and consistent lineup is this one. Line yourself up with the box, aim where the box and create a line and jump throw. This one fully clears back yellow, sees anyone that might still be close to main, and also sees a lot of sight and heaven. If you're not sure where your enemies are going but you suspect B, you can position yourself on the ramp at the start of the round. Aim at the object that sticks out here and then simply run plus jump throw to instantly know where to rotate. And of course, if you need to retake B, well you can just go snowman, get on top of the barrel here and then aim at the bottom of the crane ladder. That way you know whether all of this is clear and your enemies can really sit deep main, or hide behind yellow making the retake a lot easier. Lastly, we have Ascent. 
On ascent, if you want to take A, get on top of the boxes first and aim here. That way your eye will land nicely so it sees all of sight and it's also very hard to hit. If you want to get info on A instead, get into garden, go against the wall here and aim at the bottom part of the window frame. And simply jump throw to spot anyone either in A main or lobby. For retaking A, I like to line myself up here and aim left of this thing in order to fully cover all of the sight and see everywhere except for in main and under heaven. A really strong lineup to make retaking so much easier. When taking B, I like to use a simple eye like this if you want to clear close. First, get stuck on these boxes, aim at the bottom left of this sign and jump throw. That way, you'll clear anyone playing close to main or on stairs. Alternatively, if you want your eye to cover more of sight itself, you can also get on top of the box like here and aim for this smudge at the wall. Now just jump throw and your eye will land on top of this tree nicely to spot anyone that's not sitting back sight. If you need info on B, going all the way back here and jump throwing while aiming at this third brick is another really good lineup. It'll be able to spot anyone outside of B and it's really solid to give info early. When retaking B, the best lineup you can possibly throw is this one from Market. Just aim above this tree at around the height of the window left of it and run and jump throw. Sometimes throwing this one is too slow or unsafe however, so if that's the case you can also throw another one from Spawn. Just get in the corner here, aim at the top of the right side of this window and jump throw. It also gets all of sight, but it's easier to shoot than the other ones from market. Well guys, we've been going on for way too long, so we're going to have to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and this has been your host Sergeant Frost, and I will see you all in the next one.